It was Boy Scouts who brought this crowd together at DuPont City Hall just days after this, an accident that's left the community with so many questions. How did this happen? Why did it happen? It did happen in DuPont, and soon after, the city's mayor declared a state of emergency. I remember the minute it started here at City Hall, uh, 7.45 on Monday morning. So I rounded the corner uh, on Mounts Road uh, right as the call was coming out. Police Chief Larry Holt says he and his officers were among the first to respond. And now, days later, they think about the lives forever changed, the families of the three men who died. For three families, they've gotten the worst news they're ever going to get at the holiday season. And for dozens of other families, uh, they're not going to be spending Christmas at home. They're going to be in hospitals. And so we remember that. I felt bad for all the people who were in the accident. They put their heads together and figured out what exactly it was that they could possibly do that would be impactful and meaningful. And the candlelight vigil was going to be it. This troop leader helped the boys make it happen. We came here to honor them. They did just that in front of City Hall tonight. In DuPont, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.